You didn't see that. You didn't see anything. Hello. What is it? Yeah, I told her coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? Uh, she joined up with the hand, the band of marauders. They, they didn't hurt her. Something about writing an outlaw. Yeah. Zoe joined up with the band of marauders. Yep. Zoe, the same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I yep. heard stranger things. You pretty much did same my here. job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Okay. Maybe that'll increase the reputation here. Now that we've oh, that was a lot of XP, gee, Louise's. Deserter's reputation increased. Okay, so we got deserter's reputation as well now. Oh wow. Okay, so that went up quick. If we can get them both media, like both halfway, then we'd be all right, right? Um, don't want to steal anything from them and myth, myth them off. Like, they've barely got anything to begin with, so it makes no sense to steal it. Plus, we've got loads of stuff now. We just needed to steal a little bit at the beginning to make sure that we... Keep your wits about you, friend. Thank you. Um, let's see. Close the door. out what's in here if there's like something really ridiculously good in here ammunition stuff like that okay just wanted to check plus I like the room I like the um maybe when this cla place clears out because if we're going to force them to move, well, hopefully we're not, but you never know. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Who? If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Where's this Thomas you talked about? Oh, is that? Keep your wits about you, friend. They seem a lot nicer, that's for sure. Drinky drinkies, keep it healthy. That's my good girls. All right, let's see, toilet. Okay, there we go. Um, one, two, three. Okay. At least I know. Is this the... Yeah. Alright. My leg! I don't think I want to go that way and myth them off, so I will not go the way where the mines are. Is there not? Okay, let's go this way. Hello? <laughs> Just pick up the regulator. Turn off the power. And then just leave. <laughs> what happened to the power rack later? I don't know. It's like... Pfft, just summon. Alright, gotta go. Bye. It's just like... Uh, wait. What, don't you... No. Bye. Okay. Let's see. Um, hello? 
I heard some lovely people are here. Oh gosh. So pretty. Indeed it is. I'm guessing she's doing something here. Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? Oh, wait, what? All right. I know I know what I said. I know what I said. But that looked really good. <laughs> and we need the parts. We got plenty of money. I'm not stealing the food or anything. I've just stole things that could be useful to me. Yeah. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Oh, you're, you're very nice. Leave them at the gate. Yeah. You're welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Oh, you're so nice. What's wrong with you? Uh, and just who are you now? I'm here to join. Um, oh, yeah. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, yeah. grandmother. Oh. A strange old lady who keeps flowers. But oh. yes, Adelaide will do just Adelaide. That. Okay, it was Adelaide. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, oh. it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Yeah, they're all really pretty. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? Oh. I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Yeah, where's this but Thomas? Long, you should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Ren sent me to make peace with you. Is this your greenhouse? Looks like you made your home. It looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. Okay. So like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Oh. Why did you leave your old home? Yeah. It is an unpleasant story, dear. Please tell but me. The short of it is that... Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. Okay. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Okay. Uh, Reed sent me to make... Is, is this your greenhouse? Oh, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Okay. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally. Absent of prejudice. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised you've managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale yeah. went sour years ago. But I found a way to sweeten it back up. Okay. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Ah, so special fertilizer. Mm, I think I... I'm starting to get the understanding of why Reed wants them back. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off the power that belongs to the town. Come back to... The... That's about it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to the town, losing power. I wasn't really listening. Yeah. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. Okay. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Uh, Reed asked me to direct divert power to him. He mentioned a goffle plant. Yeah. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has the power regulator. I need to repair my ship. Canary's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and oh. toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Yeah, but then... Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. True, but... 
What do you have against the town? Yeah. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Yeah. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, mm. living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. Oof. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Hmm. Well, it's her home. Clear enough. I'll see what I can do. I don't much like you throwing in the face to get me... I don't like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side against the people trying to make a living. Uh, yeah. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. Yeah, but still. That was unkind of me. Indeed. I'm sorry, dear. Um, what do you, you have against making a living? It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation. And then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Hmm. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Hmm. Give me a second. Yeah, a bit of a long nail. Okay, I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. <sighs> so two options. Either go with the corporation that it, it is clearly like, ew. Or go for the corporation that is... Ah, there you are. Hello. Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, Miss Parvati. <laughs> Parvati, okay. Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, oh, goodness, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Hmm. Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. Hello. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Mm, I'll take that as a compliment. I'm just trying to get... Yeah, I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, engineering. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple of pointers. Yeah, let's help you I'll out. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. That's fair. Have you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the oh, old okay. community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Uh, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of those deep pads for you. No kidding. Yeah. Really? Yep. Well, which one? Uh, part one. I found it at the center archives. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Yeah. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. Yeah, sure, no problem. In fact, I put aside something special. 
On the off chance that somebody'd search out those. Oh, now friendly. For me. Awesome. I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Okay. I wanted to ask you What's something. What's on your mind? Yeah. Yeah, how long have you Couple lived here? Months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Oh. It's not that far, is it? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, mm. I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Mm. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. Aww. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... Um... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Oh, goodness me. He's got no writs. Right, before we go to the thing... Where is it? In town. Let's get into town. And get that quest sorted. Let's get that book. I wanna get that special book. Why is this guy's just face is just screams to me like Oh it's like he's just he's shocked to see what he's just seen. Oh, there we go. Food, smoked, beer. Ah, okay. Oh god, I'm gonna be doing something terrible to this town. Maybe I should maybe I should talk with them. See if I can get peace with them both. Hopefully they can Okay. Must have missed it the last time I came here. Oh well, we got them both now. Um, all right, let's go talk with the big man upstairs. Oh no, the music! No, shut up! Oh. Hi. Something on your mind? Yeah, just... Nope, okay. Never mind. Back downstairs, no. Oh, wait. We can just do this, can't we? Region. Go back to the thing. Hand in the engineering quest. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Step one. Da -da -da. Step two. Da -da -da. Step three. Profit. So you used to scrap from the things and then add things to it. Hmm. Okay. Let's hand in that book. Hey, Thomas. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Uh, yep. No kidding. Part two. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Okay. Is that all of them then? Okay, you found the first, second. Priya mentioned her father reading a volume of the young guy to mention when he was working in the cannery. Where's the cannery? Uh, Edgewater. Where's the cannery? Longgrave. Junkyard. Cemetery. Where's the cannery? Is 
So what was the thing she said? Uh, uh, mentioned her father reading a volume of Young Space's Guide to uh, when he was working shifts at the cannery. So it's got to be somewhere in the cannery then, right? That'll be the last thing I do, so let's get to the cannery. The cannery, the only thing I know of is in there. And we got a plasma sword. A plasma cutter. We got a plasma cutter. <sighs> Let's look around for the thing. The cannery, yeah, so... Maybe... Maybe it's in your house? My dad's... It's an office. Just my office. Uh, open last snare. First entry. Uh, left after war today, been regarded as Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Looked up. Okay. Uh, Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will advise you will raise her with love, perhaps more than I could make time for you, present. I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Riverty. Tell her her birthday will be set on date she's delivered to you. She was actually born on the seventh. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang her. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, set up last night reading through Spacious Choice, started reading it out loud from habit. It's been 10 years, but I still hope past memorize. I reckon I'll into the work at the cannery. There's an usual office where, okay. It's Spacious Choice. Yep, that's gonna be stuck in my, my head for the, Okay, so it's set in the office, right? Oh, sorry. Huh? Huh? Just gotta keep our heads up. Not down or up? Sorry, we got a lot to do. Yeah, no problem. It's gonna make a lot of people sad. If I turn off the power, that's all it's going to do. It's just going to make people sad. What's in there? I can't tell. Um. I could just take the regulator. Which is powered by space, is it? Your best can afford. Hmm. I was just having a peek. Hate it, my legs get broken. How do I get back up? Oh, it's through there. Okay. 
I gain health over a couple of seconds, so it's okay. Maybe this is it? No, this is the bathroom. This is where people go poo poo. Wee wee poo poo. Oh, the door's there? So it's gotta be this way then? Up and around? Perhaps? Like this way? <laughs> okay. Oh, wrong button. Alright. Let's keep looking. We're looking for this book. Can't see any book. Um. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that trigger a flaw. Oh. Taking a flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Your the choice is yours. Oh, okay. Found a flaw in you. Accurate. So, this would... After repeatedly falling from great heights, you are no longer function well on ground is far beneath. Dexterity. Reject. Okay. Kick me. <laughs> Put the sign on the back of you. Ha ha ha. Kick him. Everybody kick this man. Kick this man to the ground. Oh, I think I understand. I think I know how. I think I know how. Oh, I, 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 I've done it. I've done it. I think. So, flaws give you perks, but do you really want those flaws in the first place? That's the question. No, I was hoping there would be a that back door here, because there's a door. There's a clearly a door. Let's go through this way. Okay, so only for you, only you can make this world seem bright. Only you. So this is barred. But there's a door clearly there. But how do you get into there? That's the question. And I'm guessing that's where the manual is. So how do I get in? There's a door through there. But no way to lead to it, right? Unless I'm... Maybe if I go outside this way and... No! Why, why am I... How am I meant to get in there? Wait, let me check my journal. Where, where is this... Okay, so... Okay, uh... He promised to reward you... Okay, so... Uh, you found... The old terminal that he took val a volume of a young person's guide to engineering into the cannery and left it in an unused office. An unused office. Was it the thing I found? The volume 2? Have I just been wasting my time just looking for it? Because that was it, right? In the volume? Like this was an office, right? Like, I've been everywhere. I can't seem to find it. I could steal this as a... Yeah, just...
Thanks very much, Corporation. Uh, oh, hello. What's on your mind? Uh, yeah. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. All right. Oh. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? You were planning on stealing Eugene's gold teeth. Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. Uh -huh. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Right. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. Disgusting. Ah. Uh, all right. I want to come in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, wait a minute. What if... Ow. You know what? I, I'm going to just say that that was the book. And we can go on to the next objective, I think. Alright. Alright. There we go. That's pretty much it, I think. And uh, I think I'll, I'll pause there and uh, stop the recording. And uh, we'll continue this in a bit. So until then, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye! Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And thank you for supporting me and making sure that we can hit this uh, new milestone together. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.